Right, so this number one featherweight contender is no stranger to this setting. Tonight, though, he believes he's just a much better version of himself and finally has the goods and the chops to actually be a world champion. Sometimes you get there, John, you're just not ready. It's not easy to become the best in the world. The first time this man got here, he was a great fighter. He was good, but he just wasn't ready to be the best in the world. He said that the moment he got back home, he went to work to him. Feels like all the improvements were made. And tonight, he's the best featherweight the UFC had. And it does seem as though we have taken two-way action on this fight, but a lot of people believe in the challenger. And I'm not just talking about his coaches. We'll see how it goes tonight. Here's the UFC featherweight champion Ilya Topuria, undefeated when he arrived at the title fight against Alexander Volkanovsky, and he was able to break through and get the job done. There is an undeniable sophistication to his game. He is a layered striker. He can grapple, he can wrestle. I haven't seen anything resembling a weakness on film, but I think his greatest asset is his ability to stay calm, cool, and collected in combat, and also to exercise some patience when it comes to pursuing a finish. He's one of the best finishers in the division, but it is never forced, it is never bad out of hell, and that's why right now he's the hunted and not Volkanovski at 145 pounds. Our tail of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. It's who you first. Fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Suzuki. And now it's going to see the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world. And there's Herb Dean. He will handle the action inside the octagon. All right, so here he is, the still undefeated Spaniard, Ilya Topuria. And even before he became the world champion, his Instagram bio said UFC featherweight champion. Self-belief and confidence are not issues for one of the most sophisticated fighters and athletes on this roster. And a big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. He's given him so many different things right now. Well, let's see if he goes to set up the hook again. He has really done a nice job punctuating his combinations with that hook tonight. Topuria's in half guard now. Setting up a sub here. Oh, he might be in trouble. That looks locked in. He's advanced to a finishing position. Oh, he is out. How good is that? That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. He's laying it down, ground upon. If he doesn't move on the bottom, he's going to get finished. Looks like the referee could step in here. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks submission or big ground upon. Back mount now. He Bottom fighter move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Topuria is in half guard. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Oh, 
Oh, big pop from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated... He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow and a big moment in this fight. to top position by Topuria. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. Oh, now he bails on the submission. Oh, he puts his knee on belly. He's postured, landed huge ground ball. The guy has to move on a fight to get finished. Four shots for the end of round one. All right, so what a round it was for him. Multiple knockdowns. When we sat down with him on Thursday, he said, when I touch guys in this division, they go down. And he proved prophetic. That's exactly what happened in the previous round. The guy has lightning in his hands. Every time he is landing, he is putting his opponent on his butt over and over, knocking him down. He has not found the finish, but he needs to stay patient, find the perfect shot, hit him with that kill shot. You get that kill shot off, and there will be no more getting up. All right, let's check out some of the action DC and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round. He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed him. Oh! oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Topuria's so eye is closing up. Just misses with the right. This arena digesting what they just saw. That is not a TKO, folks. That is a clean knockout result. I mean, just wow. What a performance by this young man knocking his opponent out with a single shot like that. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 20 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Suzuki. All right, so there he is, the new UFC featherweight champion. Kind of looks like the after party has already started in the octagon. I know you'll be there shortly, Chip. I mean, it's going to be a great night. Look, I wasn't on his bandwagon on the way to the octagon, but I'm solely on it on the way out as he's going out there with that championship. I'll be at the party. It's going to be a great, fun time. John, you can come with me if you want.